Let me repeat that for the people in the back. Leave your hair alone. Love your locks, appreciate your locks, respect your locks, okay? I want all three. Ooh, Ashley. Hey, ooh, Ashley. Hey. Hey y'all, it's your girl Shay Shay back with another video. A welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ashley. As you can see by the title of the video today, I'm going to be sharing with you guys starter locks do's and don'ts. Before we jump into this video, let's jump into this style. to give y'all all angles because I know this style is fire. I jumped out of the box on this one. If anybody does want a little tutorial or a walkthrough on how I did this, comment down below and I will gladly give that to you. It took me a minute to figure out the barrel twists and they are a little bulky and chunky but I feel like they look good at the same time. So if you are new here, my name is Ashley and I post videos twice a week and I love it if you gave this video a thumbs up and also subscribe down below to join the family. Also, turn on that post notification bell so you never miss another video. And without further ado, let's hop into the video. So the first do is going to be wash your hair often. I know it is so taboo in the starter lock stage and the beginning stage to like not wash your hair. Do not listen to those people. Your hair needs to be washed, period, okay? Your scalp needs to be cleansed. Your scalp needs to be clarified regardless of where you are in your journey, especially in those beginning stages. Washing your hair contrary to popular belief helps your hair lock faster okay when you wash your hair you allow your hair to tangle up to swell and to compact again and while your hair is doing that it's locking up faster than it would if you were to just leave your hair alone also just to promote hair growth and thicker locks you want to be washing your hair often what i like to do is two weeks i understand that it can be really intimidating in the beginning stages to wash your hair because it can be super prone to unraveling depending on your starting method unraveling is probably going to happen regardless of when you do decide to wash your hair don't let unraveling be a reason that you don't wash your hair because you can always recoil your hair you can always have someone recoil it for you but at the end of the day you need to be washing your hair the second do for starter locks is to oil your scalp and moisturize your locks often this this will also help your hair flourish and grow and lock a lot faster. The more you wet your hair, the more you allow your hair to swell and compact, swell and compact. And when you think about that, each time your hair swells and compacts, the hair is weaving into one another and it's helping your hair lock faster. Also, it's helping with the health of your hair. Your hair is going to be a lot stronger, a lot more moisturized, a lot less prone to breaking off and snapping off. So you're promoting healthier locks, thicker locks, stronger locks. And that is definitely something that you want along your lock journey, or at least it's something that I want. I don't know about y'all, but I want thick and I want flourishing and I want healthy looks. It's really important to keep your scalp as healthy as possible because that is where the hair growth happens but also your hair and your locks themselves are extremely important as well so do not neglect your locks and do not neglect your scalp either. I feel like they're equally as important so make sure you're oiling your scalp often and make sure you're spraying your locks with whether that be water, rose water, aloe vera juice, whatever it is that you like to put on your hair, whatever you feel like moisturizes your hair the best, go ahead and make sure you're spraying that on there every couple of days. Also I do like to get some oil and seal it into my locks as well so so I put oil on my scalp and on my locks and I love to spray my hair down very, very often. The third do for starter locks is to leave your hair alone. Let me repeat that for the people in the back. Leave your hair alone. Honestly, locks flourish when you do as little as possible to them. Obviously, you need to be doing those things I mentioned in one and two. Keep it to a minimum. Less is more when it comes to a lock journey. Honestly, your hair will thank you so much if you just leave it alone, let it do what it does, be simple with it, take care of your hair and leave it alone. At the end of the day, Day, your hair is going to thank you your hair is going to love you and your hair is going to flourish and you're going to get those long and beautiful and healthy locks that you're looking for so the fourth and final do for starter locks is to learn to love your locks and all their individuality in your own specific lock journey everybody's lock journey is going to be completely different so i feel like something that you really should do something that you should really take time and effort into is loving your own locks everybody's lock journey is individual to them your locks are not going to look like my locks and my locks are not going to look like yours and that goes for everybody yes there's going to be similarities among certain people's locks i've never seen someone with exactly the same locks as me even even if they have the same hair texture, even if they did the same starting method, even if they're in a similar place to me, their hair has not looked like mine and that is okay and that is why locks are so unique to each and every person. So just learn to love your locks, say affirmations to your locks, be kind to your locks, just enjoy your own personalized lock journey because your lock journey is not like anyone else and I feel like that is what makes locks so special and so spiritual just as a whole in general. Now that we got the do's out of the way, we are going to get into the don'ts. Open your ears right now. Drop what you're doing if you're distracted because this is what you want to be listening to. You do not need to be doing any of these things. So the first thing that you should never do with lock is wait months and months to wash your hair. That is not okay. 
I know there are so many people out here who will say, wait six months, wait this long, wait this long before you wash your starter lock. Absolutely not. That is disgusting. You're gonna get buildup on your scalp, especially if you think you're supposed to be retwisting without washing your hair. Absolutely not, okay? No. We're not doing any of that over here. Make sure you're washing your locks often, okay? Do not wait months in between washes because you need to cleanse your scalp. That is how you promote that healthy hair growth. We do not need buildup on our scalp. We don't need dandruff. We don't need nastiness on our scalp. So make sure you're washing your hair often. Like I said in the do's, make sure you're washing your hair about every two weeks. But like I said, very personal to you, but don't go around here waiting months and months on end to wash your hair because that's just nasty. Your hair will start to stink, most likely. And that's just gonna be overall bad for your locks because they're not gonna lock faster and they're not really gonna grow as much as they could be growing. The second thing that you should not do with locks is neglect your hair. I know I said less is more, I know I said leave your hair alone, but what I mean by that, going weeks and months without moisturizing your locks, okay? Neglecting oil on your scalp, pulling your hair any which way, neglecting your hair, not taking care of it, not moisturizing it, do not do that, okay? Take care of your locks, love your locks, appreciate your locks, respect your locks, okay? Because if you're out here not moisturizing your hair, not oiling your scalp, your locks are going to hate you. And I know that is a very strong word. I know I need to take a few steps back but what I'm saying is facts and you need to not neglect your hair because if you neglect your hair, your locks are going to give you the same energy back. If you want neglected locks, go ahead and do that, but I'm sure that you don't. So make sure you're spending time and caring for your locks. Do not neglect them. The third thing that you should not do with your locks is retwist too often, okay? Let me say that one more time. Do not retwist too often. A safe time period for me specifically is one month, okay? Depending on what type of locks you have, whether you have sister locks, free form lock whatever locks you may have it may be different for you but wait at least one month at least one month okay because if you retwist any more often than that you risk breaking your hair thinning out your roots thinning out your locks stunting the growth of your locks and those are all negative things that you do not want to happen on your lock journey just to be safe even though you're gonna have to thug it out some days even though you're gonna look bummy some days because trust me you will if you're not retwisting but that is literally just something that you need to embrace on your lock journey it has happened to all of us we do not all look good 24 7 with our lock lock journeys comment down below if you feel what I'm saying because I know anybody with locks feels what I'm saying so the fourth and final thing that you should never do when you're on a lock journey is compare your locks to someone else's I feel like this is one of the most detrimental and negative things you can do is to compare your lock journey with someone else's like I said before each and every person's lock journey is so individual and so unique and so different from everyone else's that your locks will never look like the next person's locks what you go through will not be exactly the same as what the next person is going through. Even though somebody has the same exact hair texture, density, length, you've been locked for the same amount of time, they may be doing a completely different regimen. Their hair may grow faster than yours. Their hair may flourish at a faster rate. They may be doing different things in their routine, in their regimen that will all come into factor as to why that person's locks look completely different than yours. And obviously there are other factors such as hair texture, hair length, hair density. And like I said, just overall regimen, everybody's lock journey is so unique and so different. So stop comparing yourselves to other people. I know that you watch these videos to possibly see see what your hair is going to look like and that is totally okay. Obviously you want to watch videos like this just to gauge what may happen on your lock journey but don't think that like what somebody's saying word for word is going to work exactly for you or the way that somebody's locks look is exactly how yours are going to look because I know there is nobody out here with locks that look exactly like mine. I know that there's some of you out here who have locks that look similar to mine but if we do a close-up of our locks my locks are not going to look like any of yours watching this video and that is what makes locks so unique so just love your own lock journey and do not compare yourself to anyone else all right you made it to the end of the video thank you so much for watching all the way through if you are still here please comment down below the pumpkin emoji just so you know exactly what I'm talking about I will pop it up on the screen you are a real one for watching all the way through I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and all the do's and don'ts that I had to offer to you guys I hope that they were valid for you I hope that you learned something from this video if there is anything that you feel like I missed in this video some more do's and don'ts don't hesitate to comment down below to educate some more of my subbies in the comments I really look forward to your comments on all of my videos so do not hesitate to comment down below anything your little heart desires because I love reading and I love commenting and I love hearting your guys' comments. Thank you so much for all the love and support that you leave on my channel. Once again, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe down below to join the family. And without further ado, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.